I discovered that portal. Trap doors, secret staircases, and ancient tombs. Ah, even he can't get me in here. These films have it all. Just make sure you pull the right lever. Well, after this I shall think nothing of, fa of falling downstairs. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 secret passages in movies. She thinks she's found a magical land in the upstairs wardrobe. For this list, we're broadening the definition of secret passages to include those that act as portals. Well, who else knew about the secret passage? We found it, Colonel Mustard and me. Number 10, The Rabbit Hole, Alice in Wonderland. You know, Dino, we really shouldn't <coughs> be doing this. In Disney's classic interpretation of Lewis Carroll's novel, Alice chases a white rabbit down a hidden entrance in the ground into a magical world where nothing is what it seems. After all, we haven't been invited, and curiosity often leads to trouble. While this was hardly the first or last film imagining of the trip down the rabbit hole, Goodbye, Dinah. Goodbye. this one still remains by far the most iconic largely due to its impressive visuals. The rabbit hole, which acted as a portal between the boring everyday world and Wonderland, has gone on to inspire countless fantasy films, and maybe a few drug trips. Goodness, what if I should fall right through the center of... Ah! Oh! Oh! Number nine, The Mines of Moria, the Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Gandalf, we could pass through the mines of Moria. When the Fellowship runs into trouble getting across the Misty Mountains in the first Lord of the Rings film, Try to bring down the mountain! they decide to take a shortcut through the dwarven mines of Moria. I would not take the road through Moria unless I had no other choice. However, the entry to the mines can only be found in the clear moonlight, and the group needs to solve a riddle to obtain the password. It reads, the doors of Durin, Lord of Moria, speak friend and enter. To make matters worse, the entrance is guarded by the Watcher in the Water, Do not disturb the water. a squid-like monster that nearly kills them. Only once they're inside do they realize that they should never have come in the first place. Blimey, you fools! <laughs> Number eight, hidden doors, clue. Oh! Look! I can't believe it. I wonder where this one goes. Well, let's find out. One of the most memorable things about the board game Clue is that it contains secret passages that allow players to travel between specific rooms. Looks like a secret passage. Should we see where it leads? What the hell? I'll go first, I've had a good life. The movie version incorporated a number of elements from the game, including the hidden corridors connecting rooms and wall exits. There's a secret passageway from the conservatory. In fact, the corridors in the film actually link up the same rooms as the ones in the board game. What's this? Another door. The secret door in the kitchen leads to the fireplace in the lounge. The lounge! The door's locked! I know! Then unlock it! While the conservatory leads to a portrait in the study. Not if they use this secret passage. And the murderer ran back down the secret passage to the study. Is that where it comes out? Yes! The perfect getaway channels for a mysterious murderer. Number seven. Up an atom machine, Casper. Don't you know a shortcut? You got it. Ugh. The Up and Atom, designed by Casper's father, gets its name from the fact that it was built as a transport to his secret lab, while also providing some help with the morning wake-up call. I would hold on. Why? After pulling a secret cord on a lamp, the machine takes a vintage armchair along a track. <gasps> which descends through a secret compartment below a staircase into the basement. On its way, it provides a toothbrushing, shower, shave, 
and everything else needed to start the day off right. All of which we witnessed through Cat, who sent down the passage by her friendly ghost. What was that? The up and atom machine. My dad was a great inventor, but he had a little trouble getting going in the morning. Didn't he ever hear of caffeine? Number six, passage to the vault, the Adams family. Today we're going straight to the vault. The villains of this fantasy comedy spend a majority of the movie trying to break into the Adams family vault, which is filled with gold and riches. Now what about the gold? They got this vault somewhere. Yeah. I'm not sure. Of course, getting there isn't easy. Although it looks like a lot of fun if you know what you're doing. The vault's entrance is filled with all the secret passageway cliches we know and love, including a secret book acting as a trigger for a revolving bookcase, Greed! <laughs> a trap door, Hey, you're it! And a slide. And it's all capped off by a boat ride across a river. The vault! <laughs> Two to the right, ten to the left, and then around to uh, uh, five. Number five, the Batcave, Batman Begins. Yeah, you know cave diving. Over the years, there have been a number of ways Bruce Wayne has accessed his underground lair. And of special note is the entrance found in the first of Tim Burton's Batman movies. But our favorite is this one from Christopher Nolan's initial reboot. I'm Batman. In this version, Bruce converts tunnels beneath his mansion, which were originally used by the Underground Railroad, into his crime-fighting headquarters. In the Civil War, your great-great-grandfather was involved in the Underground Railroad, secretly transporting free slaves to the North. And I suspect these caverns came in handy. This iteration has an elevator leading to the Batcave hidden behind a bookshelf, revealed by playing specific notes on a piano. Of course, no Batcave is complete without an entrance for the Batmobile, and this one is hidden beautifully behind a waterfall. Number four, tunnel into Malkovich's mind, being John Malkovich. It's a portal, and it takes you inside John Malkovich. You see the world through John Malkovich's eyes, and then after about 15 minutes, you're spit out into a ditch on the side of the New Jersey Turnpike. Sounds great. In this bizarre fantasy comedy, struggling puppeteer Craig Schwartz discovers a tunnel behind a tiny door that leads directly into the mind of John Malkovich. There's no such thing as, as a hole or a portal into somebody's brain. Yes, there is. You know, a brain or a soul or whatever. I was inside John Malkovich looking out. The portal is located in the Merton Flemmer office building in New York City. And he enters it by going down a muddy tunnel that allows for a 15-minute ride through the eyes of the famous actor before being thrown out onto the New Jersey Turnpike. Things really get strange when Malkovich confronts Schwartz and demands to go through the portal to enter his own mind. It's my head, Schwartz! It's my head! I will see you in court! Number three, The Wardrobe, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. What are you doing here? Well, I was hiding in the wardrobe in the spare room. While playing a game of hide and seek, four siblings living in Britain at the height of World War II accidentally discover a doorway to the fantasy realm of Narnia. It's an awfully big wardrobe. Much to the kids' dismay, the mysterious gateway is only open to certain people at certain times, and routinely turns back into a regular closet. Narnia, it's all in wardrobe like I told you! While they later revisited Narnia through other means in the sequels. Watch out! <laughs> Nothing could quite recapture the magic we felt when we saw them walk into that wardrobe and out into the forest in the first of the Chronicles of Narnia series. What are you all doing in the wardrobe? You wouldn't believe us if we told you, sir. Try me. Number two, 
the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Hey, I'm right here. Indiana Jones has come across a lot of secret passages, but none quite like this. And don't touch anything. In Temple of Doom, Indian Company make their way through the booby-trapped filled temple, giving us some of the franchise's most iconic moments. Let me take a look. Including the spike chamber and a cult that could tear your heart out, literally. Indy finally finds a secret exit after a tense minecart chase. Unfortunately, it's on the side of a cliff over crocodile infested water. Yikes. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Where am I? The pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. Hand me that candle, will you? Smoke. Find my son. It's only a point spark pulled immediately. You okay, Mr. Mount Rushmore to erase the map's landmarks in order to protect the city of gold. Mount Rushmore was a cover up. <laughs> Number one, the Room of Requirement, the Harry Potter franchise. You've done it, Neville. You found the Room of Requirement. The Wizarding World is full of secret passageways, so those imbued with magic can travel without detection by muggles. I've never used the visitor's entrance before. Should be fun. And everything from platform nine and three quarters and the Chamber of Secrets This is it, Ron. I think this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. To the multiple pathways leading in and out of Hogwarts concealed behind portraits. Password. It's a caput draconis. Statues. We'd recommend this one. The one-eyed witch passageway. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. And the Whomping Willow is hidden. Harry, you do realize what tree this is? That's not good. Ron, run! But perhaps the most valuable is the Room of Requirement. It's also known as the Come and Go Room. The Room of Requirement only appears when a person has real need of it, and is always equipped for the seeker's needs. Located on Hogwarts' seventh floor, this room only appears to those who urgently need it, and adapts to fit that person's needs. So you really needed the toy? Charming, Ronald. But yes, that is the general idea. It's brilliant. It's like Hogwarts wants us to fight back. Whether it's acting as a passage directly to Hogsmeade. This is the only way in or out now. Or whether its hidden vanishing cabinet is allowing Death Eaters entry to the school. The Room of Requirement is an important passage. For the good guys and the bad. The vanishing cabinet in the Room of Requirement. I've been mending it. Morgan and Burks, they form a passage. Ingenious. Do you agree with our list? Which secret passage do you wish we'd found? For more mysterious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Do you see what a metaphysical can of worms this portal is?